Hi everyone, it's Molly Riversi and today I'm going to be taking you on the journey of the getting ready process with my new eventer Monty for his first show with me which will be at the Jorvik Stables for an arena eventing competition called the Jarlaheim three phase event. During the equestrian festival in about four days time at this point, arena eventing is pretty similar to traditional eventing but the cross country phase is going to be held in an arena. I think it's the perfect way to start Monty's showing career with me in a contained environment which will get him in that showing space but without all the chaos of going cross country. We have a lesson up at Steve's this morning, so I'm gonna grab him now and we'll see how it goes. To start off the horse show prep vlog, I'm showing you all my lesson with my trainer, Charity. This will be our last jump session before the show because I don't wanna waste his legs. Ideally, we would have had the lesson up at the Orvik Stables area since that's where the event is going to be, but that's not really possible with the equestrian festival happening right now. And anyway, he's been in that neck of the woods a lot, so he's already familiar with the area and he's quite sure of himself wherever we haul out. So I'm not really worried about him throwing a fit, about being someplace new or anything like that. So today we're doing a technical course with some two nine to three foot jumps that would really require us to lengthen and shorten up our strides to really get him thinking. It's good for us to have a bit more of a challenge than what's going to be at the show, just so he's prepared. And once we're out there at the event, hopefully he'll be like, oh, this is easy peasy. I've done much harder. While Charity set up the course we'd be going through today, we had a go or two over these trot poles to get him picking up his legs a bit more and really using himself properly. I find doing some work over ground poles really gets him nice and forward and into that right headspace for jumping. Monty has had experience jumping up to three seven courses during his showtime in the preliminary levels with his previous owner, so I wasn't worried about him being able to clear these fences as their novice height. As you all can see, he has plenty of scope with room for much bigger fences. Today's course did demand a bit more than what we've ever done together, kind of in the sense I really had to get all the nitty gritty details together in order for us to be successful, so I really needed to get him bold and forward, get those lead changes down, get him to a point where he's listening, so I'm really able to ask him to collect or extend depending on the situation all right keep your leg on him don't let him fall asleep okay that's okay that's okay you just lost some rhythm there when you started to hold him back i think he felt that and lost some confidence there too let's try that over again this time i really want to make sure he's forward so put some leg on him so you have enough impulsion sit up tall keep that consistent rhythm um so you don't lose your stride keep your leg on him if you need to collect him, give him some half halts. Beautiful, there you go. I feel like I usually have a bit of a shaky ride whenever we have a show coming up because I start to put a lot of pressure on myself and I feel like we have to be perfect so we're also perfect at the show. But once we had that refusal, I kind of let that go and it really reminded me to take a breath and just work with my horse because whatever will be, will be. Like my trainer said, I was kind of holding him back which caused us to lose forward motion. So I really worked on collecting him without losing that impulsion. So sitting up tall, using my legs, having even contact on the reins and doing some half halts. We slowly worked our way on to getting that confidence back and creating that forward movement. I was also having some problems with finding my strides, which caused a few chip-ins. I was looking down at Monty's neck and really focused on what he was doing, but I kept on having to remind myself to like look up and forward to see where I'm going. So approaching every jump, I looked at the top rail and as the ride went on, he was feeling super bold and forward. I think it helped that I was getting bolder as well. I was already noticing a big improvement from the beginning of our ride. Well, flash forward three days time, the show is coming up in just a couple more days and I'm not gonna lie, I have just started looking at the dressage test and I don't wanna go in totally blind and hope we land on our feet, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We started our warm up with some simple transitions on the long side of the arena, walk to trot, trot to walk, then trot to canter, and then back to trot. I really made sure he was nice and soft through the transition and listening off of my leg. We built up from doing one transition on each long side to two, then to three and four, since our long side is so long. I really like doing this at the beginning of a session to get Monty forward and listening to my leg aids. After we did that on each rein, we moved on to doing the next exercise, which was doing some serpentines around the arena. It was kind of like riding a worm here. I don't know, he was being very wiggly and I could not stop riding for even a second so he wouldn't get away from me. But once we did this a few more times, he really got in the groove and was starting to get supple. He was being good about changing from one flexion to the other with each serpentine loop without changing rhythm them. 
We continued this until he was nice and soft and supple when changing directions. After a proper warm up, it was time to move on to getting a nice little practice in for the dressage test. I'll kind of describe it to you as we go along here. So we start off with a nice working trot down the center line. Why is trotting in a straight line so difficult? I swear, I think he was still in like serpentine mode here. Um, but anyways, then we track right down the arena and back up the wall. He was being super pleasant and on the bit very nicely here. Then we turn right at B, transition down to a nice medium walk, which was a little bit faster than what a medium walk really should be because he was feeling a little rushy. He really kept anticipating the next upward transition. On the other side, we picked up that working trot again, and once we got there, all of our warming up came to pay off with this gorgeous little three loop serpentine. Um, he really knew what we were doing here. At the end, we picked up a nice little canter on the left lead, did 20 meter circle in the middle, switched diagonals at a working trot, then picked up a working canter once again on the right rein and did another circle. And then you kind of make a half circle out of that, come down the center line, give the judge a little bow, but we're not there quite yet. So I gave him a big little pet and we ended off there because I didn't want to keep hammering it into his head after he'd done such a lovely job. It was T minus one day until the Yorlheim three phase event. I had lots of time in the saddle at this point, so it was time for some last minute errands. So I took a stop at the Yorvik City Mall, which has so many lovely tag, rider apparel, and horse and equipment type shops, so I managed to get everything I needed checked off my list. And I also may have taken a much needed pit stop at the cafe. Here's a little haul of everything I got first and of course foremost. I got a bag of these peppermint treats because they are Monty's absolute favorite thing in the world. I also got him an electrolyte powder because it's supposed to be quite hot tomorrow, so I wanna make sure he's staying hydrated. And I also got some Equicom. He's a very level-headed and chill horse when going out places, but it's really a great natural product to kind of take that edge off him. Then I bought a bag of Ulcer Guard because I do plan on showing him frequently and he has had histories with ulcers, so I wanna take all the measures I can to prevent that. For his grooming routine, I purchased some hoof oil to get him looking polished and of course purple shampoo so his white spots aren't yellow. Finally, I got this cute show pad for him so he's looking like a proper show boy. I was starting to feel that night before show anxiety, so we went on a calm little hack out which was just what I needed to ease my nerves. The day before show is never a good time to squeeze in a last minute jump in, but it's a great time to just get you and your horse a nice clear head and mind so you can perform your best. Unfortunately, this ride did exactly the opposite because I got a little lost in the moment and we had a bit of a gallop and when I was bringing him back, I was noticing he was feeling a bit off for a moment. So I got off, checked out his legs to see if there was any heat or swelling and when that was all clear, I took a look at his hoof and noticed he was in fact missing a shoe. Anxiety was rushing over me. I just hand walked him all the way back to the barn and while I was walking him, he didn't look lame or anything from what I could tell. Hey, so we have a bit of a situation here. I was out riding and Monty just pulled a shoe, so I was wondering if you could come out um, anytime in between tonight and um, in the morning because we have that Jarlheim three-phase event we're going to. Well, thank goodness the farrier is very kindly making time for us tomorrow morning to get him set up with another shoe at the crack of dawn, pretty much. He's not lame. I lunged him around. He's looking fine. And of course, this has to happen the night before a show, but I guess that's how it goes with horses. I was so relieved. So once we got that whole situation figured out, I was back on track and with the new purple shin poo I got gave Monty a proper groom and bath so he could look his best for the event tomorrow. Then I packed up all his tack and equipment. It's just a one day or so. There was no need for any overnight stuff. And once things were all packed and set up ready to go for the early morning, I put Monty away for the night and headed home. I'm back home, however, my show prep hasn't ended just yet. Before I head to bed, I'm gonna hop on a call with my trainer, Charity, just to set up a game plan for tomorrow, talk through some things, and also hopefully give me a much needed pep talk. You and Monty have been working really hard to prepare for this show, and I have full confidence in both of you. So remember, trust your training, stay calm, ride confidently tomorrow, no matter what happens. Remember to have fun and enjoy the experience. You two make a great team, so all I can say is get out there and show them what you're made of. Thank you to Charity for bringing out my inner calm and excitement. It's always good to have someone remind you that at the end of the day, you're doing this to have fun. Anyways, stay tuned for the arena eventing competition video. I will see you all next time. Now it's time for me to try to get some sleep. Bye everyone.